I have said for a long time that you should know the companies you're supporting. If you are going to buy from a brand, do the research and find out what are these brands investing in that you may or may not know about. Who are the CEOs? Who are they as people? What did they do? What are they doing to help other people? Well, yesterday, Patagonia owner, 83-year-old Yvonne Chouinard, literally $3 billion, you know, he's a billionaire, said, look, I'm going to take my company and give it to the planet Earth. Now, how would one do that, right? Yvonne Chouinard being the CEO and the founder of Patagonia, which is a little backstory there, him and the owner of North Face were best friends, used to climb together. They famously climbed in Patagonia, where the former co-founder of the North Face ended up dying at 73 years old. In his grand ideas of what Patagonia was, that's, uh, you know, it's uh, the Fitzroy is what the logo is on everything that you see. Um, That is a mountain in Chile. And he was obsessed with that mountain, him and his best friend, who will make another video about him and the North Face and how those brands connect. But today, we're talking about Yvonne Chouinard and the impact he's making on the world. Now, is Patagonia a brand that can be hard to support? Yes, at first look. When you look and you pick up a shirt, and that shirt is $89.99 for a long sleeve shirt, you go, holy shit. Then you grab a pair of sweatpants. Then we're going to be $129, right? You grab a t-shirt, that's $49 for a t-shirt. You grab a hat, that's $35 for a hat. That's for one. A hoodie? You want to talk about a hoodie? We're just talking base layer stuff here. And we're not even talking about like synthetic moisture wicking materials because then you're already at $100 for a long sleeve shirt. A hoodie, you're at about 130, possibly 150 bucks for just a regular hoodie. If you have like a bomber hoodie that's not a down hoodie, but just like a cross between a, what you would normally wear, but a thicker coat, but not a puff or a down, that's going to be about 200, 250 bones. So when you first look at that, you go, especially where I come from, People used to go, Patagonia, North Face, those are for yuppie, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a complete arrogance of the culture and what is behind those brands. But if you look behind that t-shirt, you will see, first things first, a guarantee. A lifetime guarantee. If anything happens to that shirt or product of any kind, you can send that back to Patagonia and they will send you a new one. Or they will repair it and send it back. Let's start right there repairing things. Patagonia does events all over the world and it's a policy of theirs that they will take in any damaged or just any piece of clothing whether it be theirs or another brand's and they will repair it. That's huge. Let's talk about what they've done, Yvonne Chouinard especially, as far as innovation. He created and made famous organic cotton. Most people probably don't even know that if you're wearing a nicer quality shirt, you're probably wearing at least organic cotton, if not organic hemp. He also originated that, and he's working to mainstream that. When he stepped away as CEO of Patagonia, he said, I'm stepping away from taking the profits of that. And they're then, after putting what's needed back into the business, they are giving that money to nonprofits to do work that they truly believe in, which is they're already doing that all across the world. So let's just, again, talk about the pieces of clothing for a second. They're built for a purpose. Remember that. They're meant to withstand harsh conditions. Now... Is every Patagonia hat and long sleeve shirt built to go climb Everest? No, it's not. No more expensive pieces of gear would be meant to do that. But remember, what you're buying 
is morals. You're buying a shirt. You're, you're buying more. You're paying more for a shirt or a hoodie that represents your love for the outdoors. But when you look into brands, which I think we should do more of, when you see people just randomly wearing Nikes, Adidas, whatever their thing is, and you go, but do you even know anything about the CEO of Adidas or Nike? Do you know what they invest their money in? Like, that's It's hard to support them when you do. And I was a hardcore Jordan guy for a long time. And I still have pairs of Jordan shorts. Like, I'm, you know, because again, I'm not just going to throw shit away. But I have been donating a lot of my old clothes. And again, I've been buying more North Face Patagonia stuff because I support what they believe in. And I'm downsizing all my old wardrobe. And now I just have a couple key pieces of, you know, shirts, shorts, pants, hoodies, a jacket that I can wear, hats that I can wear for the rest of my life. Because again, now I've invested in my clothes instead of running down to Walmart buying a $10 t-shirt graphic funny haha whatever band tee whatever and then you're gonna throw it away in two weeks because you wash it once and it shrank and the sleeves got all weird like when you look at Patagonia specifically like this tag that came on, it says, because this shirt is made of 4.8 plastic bottles, 0.26 pounds of cotton scraps, it uses 96% less water and produces 45% less chemicals, air pollution, uh, compared to a conventional cotton t-shirt. So they're letting you know what you're buying. So again, if you're looking at the price on the tag, cutting that off, putting it on, and that's the value that you put into it, then, you know, people are going to kind of see you as a douche or whatever. But if you look at that tag and you read that and you get on to the Patagonia website, I wanted to do this anyway. I wanted to do this anyway. Let's get on the Patagonia website and let's read the actual letter that Yvonne Chouinard wrote to the world, I guess. You know, in his final goodbye, he wrote... You know, Earth is now our only shareholder. And their new motto is like, we're in the business to save our planet. So guys, this is not a joke. They're heavy, heavy into legislation against global warming. And I don't know how anybody could even think about denying that that's an issue right now. So guys, these brands, there are brands out there making a difference. You just have to go out and look for them. I want to read this. If we have any hope of, of a thriving planet, much less a business, it is going to take all of us doing what we can with the resources we have. This is what we can do by Yvonne Chouinard. I never wanted to be a businessman. I started as a craftsman, making climbing gear for my friends and myself, then got into apparel. As we began to witness the extent of global warming and ecological destruction on our own con and our own contribution to it, Patagonia committed to using our company to change the way business was done. If we could do the right thing while making enough to pay the bills, we could influence customers and other businesses and maybe change the system along the way. We started with our products, using materials that cause less harm to the environment. We gave away 1% of sales each year. We became a certified B Corps and a California Benefit Corps, writing our values into our corporate charter so they would be preserved. More recently, in 2018, we changed the company's purpose to we're in the business to save our planet. While we're doing our best to address the environmental crisis, it's not enough. We need to find a way to put more money into fighting the crisis while keeping the company's value intact. Truth be told, there were no good options available, so we created one. One option was to sell Patagonia and donate all the money, but we couldn't be sure our new owner would maintain our values and keep our team of people around that were employed. Another, So right there, he cares about his employees. Another path was to take company public. What a disaster that would have been. Even public companies with good intentions are under too much pressure to create a short-term gain at the expense of long-term vitality and responsibility. That takes a lot of awareness. Now again, still a billionaire. Still a billionaire. And that's where he says, truth be told, there were no good options available, so we created our own. Instead of going public, you could say we're going purpose. Instead of extracting values from nature, and transforming it into wealth for investors will use the wealth Patagonia creates to protect the source of all wealth. 
here's how it works. 100% of companies' voting stock transfers to the Patagonia Purpose Trust created to protect the company's values, and 100% of non-voting stock had been given to the Holdfast Collective, a nonprofit dedicated to fighting the environmental crisis and defending nature. The funding will come from Patagonia. Each year, the money we make from re- after reinvesting in the business will be distributed as a dividend to help fight the crisis. It's been nearly 50 years since we began our experiment in responsible business, and we are just getting started. If we have any hope of, thri- of a thriving planet, much less a thriving business 50 years from now, it's going to take all of us doing what we can with what resources we have. This is another way we've found to do our part. Despite its immensity, the Earth's resources are not inf- infinite, and it's clear we've exceeded its limits, but it's also resilient. We can save our planet if we commit to it. Yvonne Chouinard. And it's like, guys, that is 83 years of wisdom, 50 years of business experience, of exploring life in its totality. Literally going out into the wilderness and experiencing life as it is, and then coming back and being one of the most successful business people of all time. And then he's standing at the peak of his, you know, at the end chapters of his life, has, has it all, and he's saying, this is what we need to do. So you can listen to Trump's most recent funny rant. You can watch Biden fall off a bike. You can find out what celebrity overdosed recently. Or you can go get out in the mountains and go take a hike. And before you get out there, you can maybe go donate a bunch of bullshit clothes that you have that you maybe don't feel morally right about representing on your body anymore. Donate everything. How great would that be for a family that just needs clothes to get brand new Nike, Adidas shit, you know? We're going to make a video about some stuff, you know, coming up. That, that you know I'm dedicated to making my own difference how I can I'm dedicated to getting them part of these cleanup crews around here in Clarksville where we go and clean up these rocks you guys see the videos I do where people spray paint all over the rocks we're gonna clean some of that shit up um, as I get more entwined in the climbing community here in Tennessee it, it's something I care about a lot more like the video I just made yesterday uh, the sights and sounds of the Clarksville Greenway. I, I'm, I'm so mesmerized when I look at that rock and when I see the sun come through the trees and being in nature. That's something that we hold a massive responsibility in preserving. And Yvonne Chouinard just set a real standard for CEOs. Especially, you know, late in his life, 83 years old, he made his money and he's kind of showing, look, man, you can have it all and do it all. You can have it all and make a difference. No shame in that game. Love to Patagonia, baby. We'll see you in the next one.